Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Spyro Ripto's Rage. In the previous episode we went into Zephyr aka the Ratchet and Clank level aka the longest level that we've had so far maybe possibly? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Alora said last time that she'd bring us towards a place where we haven't got the talisman yet. Uh, this seems like it's gonna be like the ocean speedway but it's... is it metro? Yeah, it's gonna be like that probably. Ooh, okay, straight into it. Uh, we gotta take out all the pigeons. Oh, look at this. It's like some cyberpunky looking place. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, I'm going backwards. This is not the way it wants you to go. <laughs> no, 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 don't die. Uh, okay, so I guess this is gonna be one of those ones where it's first try. Um, I, I show you guys the first try and then we figure out what to do. Oh, this is gonna be so messy. So we gotta take out these guys up here. We gotta go through all of those spots. And probably one other thing. Right? The pigeons. Um, hmm. Hmm. We'll figure it out. I'm sure we will. <laughs> jumpers! Okay, I don't know what that is. They're probably like bungee jumpers. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright! Gold attempt. Let's go. Okay, I see the bungee jumpers now. Bird is the word? Cool, we got a trophy? I think we got it this time. I'll throw in the little clip there. I got a trophy. I don't know if I'm gonna add that in, but I, I, I should probably add in the part that I got a trophy after getting all the, the pigeons. But hey, took a few attempts, but we figured it out. It was, once again, very easy to do. Uh, I just was going a different way because I'm crazy. Now, was there any other orbs there? I should probably check this, because last time... Yeah, see, last time we completely missed the fact that there was another orb there. So it's a good thing I checked. All right, this time the time counts up, so we have time to kind of look around a little bit and see what we're missing here. Oh, here it is. Wow, that took a little while. Okay, hello. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Sure, why not? Look at his nose and that mustache and that hat. He's just got all the mayor qualities right there, all in one. Great! Hunter can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and gets lost. Good luck. Hunter is waiting for you outside. Okie dokie. Yay, we get help from Hunter again. Uh, okay. Dude, that guy was so hard to find. I should have thought to look in the waterfalls. I was like, you know what? I'm going to look in here. I don't know if there's any waterfalls or anything, but I got to find it. Oh, good. We got it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I thought I was good at, I thought this waterfall would have something and I looked in it and I'm like, oh, there's nothing here. I ran into the wall and then I was like, okay, now I'm dead. And then, uh, yeah, that other one happened to be him. So that was good. It was actually lit up really well. I'm just blind. Oh no, we're going to miss it. I don't think we're going to get this on the first try because I'm bad. No. Oh, sick. Oh. It looks like you missed one. 
But there always seem to be more burglars trying to rob us blind. Are you ready to try a... <laughs> you missed one, but uh, there's always more, so, you know, it's okay that you missed one. Just go ahead and do it again. Okay, we just gotta stay right behind Hunter. We'll be fine then. Nice shot, Bowie. Bowie? <laughs> Bowie? <laughs> Get him. Okay, this is actually a lot easier. I don't know why I made it so challenging the first time I tried to do it. Oop. Oh! Oh, that's why this one lost us, because he starts off lower. Uh, I see. Thank you. This is like a complicated version of uh, the ring challenge that we had to do when we were following him, or following that other thing. Oh boy. It's still like a time limit, but it's different. Blast the bird. Why? Style points, that's why. Oh! Well done! You really taught those crooks a lesson! Yeah, boy! Oh, nice! Alright, well, once again, my timing's all messed up for this episode, so let's go do another level. Uh, where have we not been yet, though? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh! Wait, we're still missing one at Summer Four. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where the heck is that one? No, I remember. That's like the puzzle one. And I think I have an idea for it, but I'm not going to worry about it until I see that we have more abilities later on. Because maybe it's going to be like a lot easier with an ability rather than me trying to figure it out. Or someone's left a comment to it by now, and I've just not uh, noticed it. <laughs> because by the time you've seen seeing this episode that episode will have gone up a long time ago uh anyway is this the final boss or is there something else like over here oh there's another thing over here fractured hills and scorch okay i thought scorch would be like the boss boy so let's go to fractured hills maybe <laughs> Oh, that music was amazing. Is this a throwback to the last game? I'm gonna have to unfreeze them, but they're not gonna be crystal this time. They're just plain out, uh, plain, plain old uh, stone. Hello. Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. What kind of accent is she trying to do? I can't tell. I can't tell, but um, it's pretty funny. Anyway. Oh, jamming. Ooh, it's like a big circle level. Oh, I see. Cool. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Okie dokie, sir. Thank you, though. Thanks for uh, having a clearer accent than this other lady. <laughs> the other one, hers sounds so fake. I don't know. Maybe they're real. Maybe, but I, I don't know. It just, I guess they're trying to make sure like kids can understand what she's saying, but at the same time they want to give her an accent. And if they throw on the thick accent too hard, then the kids are gonna be like, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, bees. Okay, I don't know why I'm taking out the trees, but I thought maybe they had to do with something. There you go. Oh, it's spooky. Oh, this reminds me of like, we had this old Christmas tree uh, when we were younger that was like, it was like a talking Christmas tree. It had eyeballs just like that and it would talk and it would like open its mouth and like do like Christmas songs and stuff like that. It was the creepiest thing as a kid, but also you could plug in a microphone to it. Like it had like a auxiliary cable slot and uh, you plug the, the mic into it and it would just go oh, like, it would have a, um, 
he would talk along with whatever you were saying. <laughs> it was the creepiest thing though. Oh man. I loved it so much. Okay, these guys I'm assuming you gotta bash. Oh, we gotta hit them in there. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> oh, that's such a good animation. Oh man, well done. Um, hmm, I'm assuming I have to get into these rooms at some point. Probably figure out how to get in there afterwards. I don't know. I don't think we can take this guy out unless I just go around behind him like this. Don't get me. Okay. Bash him a few times. We're gonna die. Bashed. Bashed. Bash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little bit more. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's such a good animation. Oh, well done. Well done. I wonder if they did that in like the old game. Like they had a little bye-bye animation like that. That's awesome. Oh, we have to roast a little piggy. They're so flippin' cute though. I don't want to roast a piggy. Eh? They look kind of like the Moana pig. If the Moana pig was pink and not uh, white and gray. Is that the colors? White and black? I can't remember actually exactly what. What was his name? It's like Mua Mua. Oa Oa. Oh no, and here we go again with the uh, the Aku Aku mask. <laughs> and not knowing what the name of the pig is. Ah, man. Pua, that's what the name of the pig is. I totally didn't Google it during that cutscene. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I was thinking of Hey Hey. <laughs> also, I thought it might have been similar to Hey Hey's name, but Hey Hey is my favorite character in that movie. It's so good. He's so good. Also, because he's played by Alan Tudyk, and that's, a, that's like the best part about it. Is that even how you pronounce his name? Is it okay that I'm talking over these cutscenes sometimes? Sweet. Oh, something I should mention in this video, since we're, uh, yeah, we're still playing this one. Uh, so, since I have to build up a backlog, I see this guy right here, I will get him. Um, since I have to build up a little bit of a backlog today, I am going to probably be doing a little bit of other content and stuff. So, like, I know we already had experimental week and such, but this time it's just going to be, like, videos just for the fun of it and because uh, I have some recommendations from some people. But I just got a message from uh, Roman, and I was like, oh, you know what? That's a great idea. So, uh, yeah, we might have some, some like, variety stuff mixed in this week as well just because I need some more content just so I can get through a few weeks or so, just so I can have... It's not like really a break, it's more so it's just gonna be a really busy time. So um, yeah, just just be warned about that. I might put those videos up on like in between the Spyro stuff or like, I don't even know how it will work out. Maybe on Saturdays or something, I'll switch it up. But uh, yeah, that, that's just, uh, I thought I should quickly mention that. We're gonna have a few more variety things for a little bit only because I need a little bit more content though. That's it, that's it. Okay, let's go get that guy. <laughs> oh wait, can we even get back up there? Uh, he. Oh yeah, we can easily get up there. These jumps are no problem. Oh wait, I talk over these cutscenes anyway. Why didn't I just get them in, in the first? You know what? Maybe I thought in my brain that this was the last guy for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it, why didn't I just do it more fluidly? It's great to be free. Now there's only one Seder left to rescue. Oh, okay, it's a good thing I didn't talk really over him because he had something to say. Anyway, there's satyrs and fawns. They're not they're not all fawns. Are fawns only the female version? Oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Four times difficulty. Okay, four times, four star difficulty. Okay, wait, let's check around back. We always check around backs of places because they like to put secrets behind here. Not this time around for some reason, but that's okay. We'll figure out how to get in there eventually. 
Get rid of the creepy little Christopher Christmas trees that we have here. I think that's what the name of that creepy android Christmas tree was called. <laughs> and uh, get the last saber. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to explore the temple. Ooh, thank you. Uh, hmm. Ooh, there's a spot over there, and then we have everything over here. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be like a runway eventually. Let's go down here. Uh, actually, wait, no, let's go back to where... <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, we're gonna go... Let's do this in order. We'll go this way first. Because we kind of cleared out this way over here before. Oh, right, you can't flame this guy. You just bash him into the lava like that. Sorry, little piggy. I roasted you in the lava instead of with my own breath. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Ah. Get out of here. We don't really need to get rid of them. Like, we probably could keep these guys around, but... Oh, actually, no, we do need to get rid of some of them because we need the spirit powers. Oh, and we gotta be able to break into here, which I'm assuming is gonna be maybe a charge ability. We'll have to charge on over here and such. Maybe that's how we'll take out these guys a lot easier, too. Huh. Or maybe we take them out beforehand? I don't really know how it's gonna work. I don't know. Let's just get rid of them early. Stop trying to do that. Let's bait them. Bait and switch. There you go. And now over here. Ooh, what's this? Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm getting distracted so easily. I'm like, ooh, I gotta check and see what this is. Okay, you guys don't have... Crap, I should have baited them. Why didn't I do it? Uh, okay, there's something over there. Is that... that what's his name? Hunter? And there's a satyr here, okay. I've been experimenting with a new potion. I'd like to try it out, but the earth shapers have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Uh, sure, but not right now. Okay, I'll be waiting here, but Hunter will be very angry with me if I don't get this potion to him soon. Okay, don't you worry there, man. I don't, I'm not trying to do his accent, it's just how I'm talking. It <laughs> sounds more like a Canadian. Oh, don't you worry there, mate. <laughs> oh, don't you know? Is that is that 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 the uh, thing? I don't know. I'm picturing the uh, the characters, the aliens from uh, Rift Apart again. To follow that kind of uh, aesthetic accent. I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. It's fine. Uh, we're just checking a little bit more, making sure we got all of the gems. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over here now. Grab these. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to run through like this entire place. I don't remember seeing where the, um, the spot was that we would be able to get like a dash attack or something, but let's try it out with this guy. Maybe this guy will help us. Will you escort me? Pa yeah. Great! Just keep those earth shapers away from me and I'll take this potion to Hunter. Okay. Let's say Ratchet. Is that this guy's name? I didn't even notice his name was Ratchet. No. Well. <laughs> Straight out just smack. Oh, well. I don't know why I sp read Ratchet there. It says protect. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Where are you going there this time, bud? I'm trying to keep them away from you, but you're making it very difficult for me. Good job, good job. Okay. We're trying. Why are you going this way? No. No, don't go this way, buddy. Bud, 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 seriously. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Seriously. This is like, oh, no, 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 no. It's like trying to, oh my goodness. There's a kid walking away in the in heavy rain. You're like, yeah, hey, kid, wait up. There's a bunch of crowds here. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna go through all the more convoluted stuff and then he gets lost. And then sadness happens. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate this guy. Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? 
Sure. Does it happen to be an orb? <laughs> Come back and meet me here when you've learned how to head bash, and we can kick some Earth Shaper butt together. Head bash? There's a ability called a head bash? Okay. Well, we don't have that yet, so yeah, we're gonna have to leave everything, I guess. Oh, that sucks. But cool that we learned something new, yes? Man, we almost got this level like complete then. That's how you probably open that door and we do this other stuff. What else is there here then? Oh, we're missing a lot. Oh man, okay, well, we'll come back to this place. That's okay. Um, have we found the exit to this? No, we haven't yet. We have to go into the temple, right? We haven't reached the end because we haven't even gotten the, what's it called, the uh, talisman. Oh wow, I missed some really easy gems over here too. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to say, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor, helpless little me. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. Oh, thank you. Ooh, it's a flute. Okay, there, we found the exit. That's good. Grab these little gems here. I'm going to grab these gems over here, too, since we see them now. Oh, and there's some down there, too. Uh, just so we don't end up... Like, I know we're going to have to come back and get a bunch more gems that I'm missing anyway. But if we can get these while we're here now, that's good. So now we have a new thing to remember, which is going to be a little annoying, but that's okay. Nice try, you tried. All right, uh, we're going to leave that there, I guess, for this place. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're leaving it in again, but I hate it. <laughs> well, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So I want to thank everyone so much for watching this episode of Spyro Ripto's Rage. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs>